Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to move or copy files into archive folder at the time of designing of the package. So there is one task in exercise toolbox which is nothing but file system task. It deals with various operations of files and folders in your files, file system. So I have one, fo one folder called D drive files exercise. There are four files including two excel sheets and one text document in the path and also there is archive, archive folder also in the same path. Now my intention is to move all these files into the archive folder in this demo. Currently in archive folder we don't have any files. Now after including the package all these four files are moved to the archive folder. Let's jump into the demo. This is the new SSS package. So for this, for this demo, first I have to take the container called for each other container. To do, it performs to repeat the task in a package. To execute, double click here, and go to collection. Collection there we have for each uh, for each file enumerator and here it is uh, you have to mention the path of the folder where you pick. So I am copying this folder here and paste RLC here into browse from here itself. So what type of files it is asking? I want all files for so that. Start at star is the, uh, relevant to, to take all the files from the above folder. If you want any particular from files, say Excel, like X, if you want only, if you put the, if you put like this, it will pick only Excel, Excel document, Excel text documents, sorry, Excel document. If you want to select CSV, only it will select the CSV. Now I want to take all the documents in the folder. That's why I put the, this one star dot star. Okay. And variable mappings. I am creating one variable here. This is the package name. I am taking one variable and click OK. And variable marking starting with the zero index. Click OK. So configuration is done for, for each of them. Now I am typing the file system task. Double click to configure. So here each source for, for file system task it deals with many operations of the operations inside. It is starting with copy file, move file, delete file, rename file delete directory, all these operations it will take care of this task. Now uh, I want to copy the files. In first example of my demo, I want to take copy file, take the path as the source path is available to and source available here is we already created one variable, I am taking that variable. Come into destination connection. Destination connection I am taking the new one. This is our existing folder. Browse. You try files, exercises, exercise here or the files. Save it. So everything is working. Even though the package is configured, still the redmark is not done. For that, we have to click the properties of the file system task and change the property of delay validation. By default, it is false. We we'll make it as true. So, this is how the package will design. What happened when we run the package?
this is the package and this is the folder when you run the package all these four files are moved to the archive folder currently there we don't have any archive folder so to make it visible and running the package before you All four files are moved to the archive folder. So this is how you need to copy the files into the folder. Now I am selecting one more package, or else I am changing the same file system operation and take the more. Should have copy file and taking the another operation called move file. And the rest of the attributes will remain same. Okay, and I save the package. It means whatever the files that are there in a space, all files are moved to the archive folder. That means you don't have any file, not even a single file in a space package. Now. It fails. It makes sense. It fails. Okay. Because the reason is cannot create a file when that file is already exists. That means earlier in earlier package we we make them copy all the files into the archive folder that means all files are, uh, remain there so you need not move the again we need to move the files for same archive folder for that you need to make some change in the package itself there is there is a column called overwrite destination by default it is false if you make it as true and run the package see what happens In archive folder, if you, if you change the package in the file system path, override destination true. That means it will override the files in the archive folder. Earlier, the, the same four files are already exist in the archive folder. After making the changes, override destination true, the same files again copy into the same folder. And in SSIS, we don't have any folder because we have to we have moved the folders into the archive folder so that we don't have any files in the SSS files. So by this way you need to create you need to create archive folder and make them move to either move or copy into the into your archive folder. Thanks for watching the video.